All right, guys, Nick the Nutter Buster coming at you. I missed last week's video because I've been kind of under the weather, kind of fighting some bad sinuses. Buddy, come on. If y'all watch my videos, I mean, y'all have uh, heard Gordon here, who is the world's loudest cat. He likes to meow whenever I'm not focusing on him. But anyway, me and, uh, me and old Gordon, we're just sitting here chilling around the house a little bit, and this is as it work. I took the day off to kind of rest and recuperate. I got a doctor's appointment yesterday. They give me some steroid shots and antibiotics and all that stuff, so we kind of, we're doing a little bit better, but we will most likely end up missing an open weekend of a uh, turkey season, which starts tomorrow, so that's kind of a, kind of a bummer. You can see I'm not sipping any tasty beverages today. We're just trying to hydrate and get better. But I wanted to do a follow-up video. Um, on this little guy right here on a tree hopper bit. So I've, uh, after posting my original video and uh, posting to the forum, try to see you know if anybody else was having troubles with the bit. It seemed like it was uh, pretty common. People were having issues um, with the bit, not drilling very well, and getting stuck in the tree and being hard to extract. And there's been a lot of back and forth with some of the forum members and Mark, the owner of Tree Hopper, he got involved and he's. Uh, I really want to give him a big shout out. He's been extremely responsive um, to all the inquiries that I've sent him. Um, he's, he's asked for feedback from myself and I know some other members of the forum and he's really um, proven a commitment to get the product where it should be. And like I said, my first video, the build quality of this versus this. Just, you know, thin wall, metal conduit. Um, it's hard to get out. You gotta kinda reach up inside the body of the bit to pull that out. And it just, if you got a lot of slop in that handle assembly, like I'm holding the bit still, but you can see there's just still that wiggle. And you gotta spin it. And then something else, this one, I actually took it apart. This has been my main drill for the past two seasons. I don't know if you can see, I'll try to, you can kinda see where there's some pretty severe deformation of that hole um, in that angle there at the camera. And see, you can see that hole is pretty wallowed out on the housing on this one. It's wallowed out on the other side as well. Um, that, that did not have a lot of life left in it, I don't think. Um, so that's not very durable versus this. This is, you know, machined aluminum. It's very solid. Um, that roll pin that goes through it. I don't know if you can see it because it's black on black, but there's a roll pin right there. <coughs> One eighth inch roll pin. Um, the housing is much steadier. The bit was a problem, so the bit has been reworked. Um, Mark sent me the new bit, and I'll be honest, I was a little, let's see if I can get the camera to focus in on me. I was a little apprehensive about it. Um, and I can honestly say now I've drilled a hundred plus trees with it. Yes, trees, not just holes. Um, I've drilled a hundred different types of trees. Um, white oaks, red oaks, mocker nut, hickories, magnolias, bay trees, tupelo trees, cypress trees. Um, pretty, pretty much every tree I could get my hands on. I've, I've got a sacrificial popcorn tree that's getting cut down out back and I've, I've drilled it dozens of times playing with this, trying different parts of the tree. Drilling through knots, drilling through, you know, where a limb intersects the tree. Um, and basically, I'm happy with this. Um, if you're in the market for a hand drill, this is the best option out there. This blows the easy cut away. You can see that bit stays in there, doesn't shake out, doesn't make a lot of noise. Um, it's very, very lightweight, it's very quiet. Um, I mean, it, it's really as close to a perfect piece of equipment as you can get now. Like I said, once that bit was rectified, he changed the cutting edge. He changed, I think, where the worm screw was clocked. I think there was a slight modification made to the uh, the worm screw. Um, and he changed where that, that cutting edge was clocked, excuse me. So he, he changed the, the drill pretty substantially. And then there's also a taper. Um, and I was kind of on the fence about that. I thought that that might be one of those ideas that worked out really good on paper and just, just didn't make a difference in the field. Um, but that drill bit tapers from 10 millimeters, three eighths of an inch down to 9.5 millimeters. Um, it makes a remarkable difference spinning the drill. I let my buddy, um, I was actually hanging out with him earlier today. We made a quick, quick trip to the gun range. He's got a, a 300 blackout that he was sighting in. And uh, we got back to his house and I let him play side by side with a brand new easy cut 
and with a tree hopper. Now he's never used a, a hand drill before. I just gave him both of them and he instantly looking at it. He's like, oh, obviously this is the better drill. And then he drilled with it and he's like, there's no resistance when you drill with this. And he's, and he's right. Um, the handle is slightly longer and with that tapered bit, there's hardly any pressure now. Um, you can drill a hole with this. Usually with the Maisie cut, I thought I was doing good. I was drilling holes in about 30 seconds with this. We're drilling holes and I was, I was clocking it at under 20 seconds. Um, it is remarkably faster. Um, you know, and that, that doesn't sound great, 10 seconds, but when you're figuring 10 seconds over the course of drilling, you know, <coughs> excuse me, uh, 10 to 14 volts, that's a really, really substantial difference. So, we're gonna walk outside, we're gonna get up on a tree, and I'm gonna kind of show you a comparison drilling with the new and improved tree hopper versus the, uh, the easy cut. And I, I gotta say, I'm I'm really for the for the price. There's the same price you can either pay for that, or you can pay for that. You can actually get a sturdy, sturdy piece of gear that's going to last your lifetime. Really, I mean, the only thing you'd ever need to do is replace the bit, and you can punch the pin out, and replace the bit. The the body's not going anywhere. You can have that for the rest of your life. So let's check it out, and see how it works. All right. So this is first up on the list. This is the. Uh, the older easy cut this is what i used to drill with i've been using this for two seasons this is just popcorn tree that's going to come down at some point this summer when i can get around to it so it's all woodpeckered up um, but you can see just just if, if y'all want to time it so we're drilling getting a pretty good bite in it And it, I mean, it works. I've drilled hundreds and hundreds of holes with this. But I can feel some resistance. Now we're bottomed out. And there's a little tug and twist that you'll notice when you take it out, okay? It's not bad. I mean, it works okay, but you, you heard it when it just clicked in right there. So you got to kind of get up in there and pry that out. And then when you close it, it's just got a lot of rattle. You don't want that in deer woods. So, you can, you can silence it up, but you've always had to baby it this. You know, it's quieter. Opens right up. We're going to come right above it. We're going to drill the same thing. So, we're... It gets a bite just as quick, but you got a bigger handle and a bigger collar. And once you start going, I know you can't see it on the video, but there is just absolutely no pressure when you drill this thing. You can go as fast as you want. You don't have to get out of breath. And then when you pull it out... It just, I mean, it comes straight out. It's like it almost jumps out the tree at you. Um, really surprised how big of a difference taper in that drill bit made. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, I mean, it drills. I mean, it drills very, very well indeed. And it looks like a lot of work. That's something that my buddy was saying. He'd never seen this before. And he says, you know, it looks like a lot of work, but then when you go to do it, there's nothing to it. You can see I can actually just take, it just comes out with a, with a thumb and a finger. You can pull that bit right out. So, it's a winner. If you're on the market for the quickest and lightest way up the tree, this is the way to do it. This is a well-built piece of gear. It's going to last just as long as if you get wild edge steps or, you know, lone wolf sticks. I mean, any, this is just a good piece of hunting equipment. Um... Together with my carbon fiber bolts, you're looking at right at a pound. You can get 30 foot up a tree, no aiders. You can preset it and climb a tree in a minute or two. Or if you've never drilled it before, you're still up a tree. Um, I did a demo at Saddle Palooza and in front of witnesses, I was up a tree and set up in, you know, eight minutes. So this is, uh, to me, honestly, if you're saddle hunting uh, and it's legal and you're not using bolts in a drill, you're just doing it wrong. That's just the end of the story. So. And if you're drilling holes and you're not using one of the new tree hoppers, you're doing that wrong too.